Uh, the caretaker is stupid good. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Before we jump into this one, if you have not already, please make sure you subscribe. If you are new here, you are entered to win a free Innistrad Crimson Val bundle on November 24th. Uh, we will announce that here on YouTube, so please do check that out. But Let's talk about today's deck. We're looking at Val Werewolves, guys. This is going to be an interesting one. So this is my own creation of this deck. I'm not sold on the configuration by any means. I just want to test out some of the new cards. Uh, I'm sure we've overlooked a few things. Um, I know we did in Vampires and things like that, and that's okay. We're just here to test out and have some fun. So uh, the idea here is basically the same that it's always been for werewolves beat face as quickly as possible uh and we've gotten a lot of new cards from an Estrad crimson val that can help us do that so uh at the one drop slot we've got this amazing card ascendant pack leader a two one for one already pretty good value but when it enters the battlefield with a it comes in with a one one counter on it if you control a permanent with mana value four or greater which just means that in the late game it's not as dead in the water as a normal one drop would be uh but when Whenever you cast a spell with mana value four or greater, it also gets a 1-1 counter. So uh, obviously we've got a handful of things that are four or greater. The idea being that this is hopefully going to kind of bolster itself up along the way if it can live that long. Uh, and then even late game, if we've just got a four mana spell out, it becomes a 3-2 right off the bat, uh, which is pretty amazing given that it's only one mana. Uh, I did include a couple of Blizzard Brawls here. Not positive on that, but it's just for a little bit of creature interaction. Uh, we don't have a ton other than one of the other new cards here, uh, and so I wanted to get a little bit going there. Uh, the two drop slots, a bunch of stuff we've already seen. So we've got Ranger class as a two of. I'm not going too hard on this because we're kind of spreading things out more so in this list. Uh, we do have the four werewolf pack leader, just a great card to be able to draw for uh, for extra stuff in the hand. And then Kessig Naturalist, of course, is a four of. Not only on the flip side is it a lord, but it also helps ramp us a little bit, which in this deck is very, very good. Uh, Reckless Stormseeker is, of course, in here. Again, a card we've seen before, along with Tolvalar, uh, which is in the same vein, just a really, really good card. It allows us to draw a lot more uh, and can bolster up our board as well. So... Uh, one of the new cards, Cemetery Prowler. I think this is potentially one of the best value green cards in the three drop slot that we have seen. It's a 3-4 for three with Vigilance. Already pretty amazing, but uh, when it enters the battlefield or attacks, exile a card from a graveyard. That has so much relevance in this meta, uh, at least in my opinion, with things like Disturb running around. This is just already amazing, uh, and being able to do that is very, very strong. Uh, spells you cast cost one less to cast for each card type they share with cards exiled with Cemetery Prowler. So not only that, it's going to be cheapening up all of our stuff. If we can get a creature hit with it, uh, that cheapens up all of our creatures. If we get a sorcery with it, uh, or excuse me, an enchantment with it, Blizzard Brawl can't be cheapened. A uh, enchantment with it, Ranger class gets cheaper. Like... Uh, Planeswalker, it's just all around a really, really good card, so I'm kind of excited to see how that one goes. Uh, in the four drop slot, we do have two Arlens here. Uh, just a great way to spit out a couple extra tokens uh, and, and hopefully deal more damage. It also just powers up our board a little bit with that plus one. Uh, and then on the flip side, obviously, can ramp and beat face. Uh, Halpak Piper, another new card. Uh, a 2-2 two -two for four doesn't sound like great value, I know, but... One, it can't be countered, which just means that against any control deck, we at least can, can get a threat down. Uh, but also for two mana and tapping it, you can put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. If it's a wolf or werewolf, untap it. And you can only activate that as a sorcery. But the idea being that for two mana, we can basically just be throwing some of these really, really big things down. And it's difficult for our opponent to, they can't counter it uh, because it's not cast. Um, it just puts it onto the battlefield. So this very, very easily gets around a lot of the counter magic that we would expect to see in some of the control decks. Not that I'm expecting to see tons of those right off the bat, but I think this is one of the best cards for the werewolf deck. Now on the flip side, it's a 4-4 and 
Uh, when it enters the battlefield or transforms, look at the top six cards of your library. You can reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So between the Howler, uh, the Overlord, and the Pack Leader, we actually have quite a bit of card draw, card selection kind of stuff uh, that should help us kind of keep the keep the wheels turning, which is fantastic. Now in these two higher drop slots, we've got Volatile Arsonist, a great way to get in there for attacks very quickly and deal with some of the ground stuff that we might expect to see, uh, as well as just dealing damage to the, flare, to the, the player. Uh, and then we do have a caretaker, two caretakers actually in here. Uh, Hexproof is always good. Being able to throw counters around is never bad either. Uh, and so this just seems like a really strong play. Uh, you can see we do have one den and two layer of the hydras here. I did want to go a little bit heavier green since we need the green early game. Uh, and so that's pretty much it guys. It's going to be an interesting list. I have not tested this on the ladder yet. Uh, and again, this is a learning experience. I am sure I've missed a number of things, but it's okay. We're just here to have some fun. So let's jump into game one. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, Aside from not having red mana, this hand is actually quite good. I think I'm going to keep this. Uh, we've got the one drop. We've also got a three and a four drop that we can hopefully get to if we can get that red mana. Uh, looks like our opponent. Oh, perfect. Looks like our opponent also uh, mulliganed here, uh, which just means we're up a card, which is always a great way to start. Uh, perfect. Okay, so my opinion is that we just do this now. <laughs> Uh, just get that off the field before they can ramp. I'm okay if we lose our guy, obviously it doesn't matter. Um, but it keeps them from ramping and going crazy, which is very important. And we do have a good follow-up play here. Uh, comes in on Nightbound already, which is great. I mean, that's a pretty solid turn, turn three there, just dealing five immediately. So, uh, next turn we obviously have Arlen that we can just drop down. Uh, interesting. Okay. Hacks Betrayal, uh, very good little tech card against us, unfortunately, but we're just going to be trading five damage here. Cool. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, now we actually have some options here. We can just attack in like this, which I think we'll do. Uh, we'll put the five here and we'll attack in for 10. So now they basically have to have another Pax Betrayal to deal with the Arlen, but then they don't deal with this, so I feel like we're in pretty good shape here. Uh, okay. So they were just trying to flip, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and play this out. It's going to enter, obviously, with an extra uh, counter on it, which is great. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this down. Ranger class is going to be able to come down as well. Uh, we're going to throw the counter there. Let's attack. Uh, get this out of there. I guess we could have also attacked with other stuff, but there we go. That was a very, very quick and efficient game. That was fantastic. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game two. And uh, yeah, this is pretty easy keep as well. We've got the naturalist. We've got the pack leader. We've even got a, uh, the other pack leader. Uh, interesting. They're both called pack leader. One's one word and one isn't. That's interesting. Um, anyway, let's do this. Let's throw out the one drop here. And we do need to make a decision if we want to throw the three three out or the naturalist. Uh, both are actually quite good, in my opinion. So we'll see. Uh, this is obviously going to get in for an attack. They're going to Blizzard Brawl as well, so uh, fair enough. You got it. Um, a little frustrating for sure, but that's okay. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to get the Naturalist down. I feel like ramping ourselves into the Arsonist might be the way to go here, uh, since we can just then attack in with it and then ping this thing to, to kill it. So the Arsonist does provide us with a little bit of creature removal in the form of a creature itself, which is just really sick. So let's see what they want to do. looks like Demon Bolt. Interesting. Okay. Sure. Uh, you got it. Let's do this. Let's do this. I mean, we're just going to keep playing threats. The The good thing is our threats are much bigger just on their own, uh, whereas their threats are very dependent on what they put out on the field each turn. 
Um, obviously, this is going to be a big turn for them, but... Uh, I'm not going to block. That might be incorrect, I don't know. Uh, but I feel like we'll, we'll make it. Uh, I am going to get the second red here, because we obviously need this. Um, let's throw, I guess, the naturalist down. The trick is that it doesn't guarantee us a ramp, but it does help us uh, l ensure that even if we don't draw a land, we might have a way to play the arsonist. I'm not attacking with the pack leader uh, on the off chance we just need to block here. I mean, we saw how much damage they can do with the surge, uh, and so they're obviously trying to kind of replicate that to this turn. We may have to block with the pack leader. There's a Shia. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to block here. I know that's not great, but uh, unfortunately, I think that might just have to be the play. Um, interesting. So I think we're probably just dead here then. We just didn't get anything in time. Uh, let's deal the damage there. Unfortunately, then we can't play that. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think that's just it. Um... Uh, we got rid of this a little too late, I think. Uh, there's just not much we can do about it. We do have to kind of take the hit here. I guess we could have just taken the eight, but that's a scary number to take uh, in this scenario. <clears throat> um, unfortunately, not drawing lands here, uh, which is a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. You can't help it. I don't think we can win this anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. I think uh, this Ashaya is just going to be able to take us out. But regardless... This has still been a pretty interesting uh, game here. I think had we been able to Blizzard Brawl earlier, we could have won, but ah, it's fine. All right, fair enough, you got us. That was a very quick game as well. Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, and while I don't love this hand in some aspects, I think we try it. Um, the fact that we only have two mana is a little, little worrying. Um, just because that really only allows us to play the Naturalist, but the Naturalist is also the card that helps us get more mana, so uh, it's a little little backwards, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, getting Naturalist down now is quite nice, because we could Blizzard Brawl the Valkyrie, depending on what they do here. Uh, they're going to Portable Hole it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, can't do too much about that. Uh, interesting. Okay. Oh, no. Uh... Yeah, no lands. That's very unfortunate. Uh, we seem to be not hitting very many lands. I've, we're at 24, if I'm not mistaken, so that shouldn't be as big of a problem. We do have up to six mana spells, but like they're few and far between, so I don't really worry about that. I figured 24 would have been pretty much enough. Yep, hit me for two. Oh, no. Uh, okay, well... Cancel first. All right, let's attack in. I am in a blizzard brawl here because uh, we do kind of need to get that thing off the field. That's their life gain maneuver for the cleric class, obviously. They didn't play anything else really all that relevant last turn, so uh, I guess they can return it to the battlefield if they have another land, but paying five mana for basically a soul mender doesn't seem that good. <laughs> um, all right, so... I would love to get a green source so we can Cemetery Prowler, get that out of there. Um, that would just give us a lot stronger options. Um, so we'll see if we can do it. Oh no. Oh no. This is terrible. Guys. Oh, it feels so bad. Uh, if we don't draw a land next turn, I assume we can just concede. Um, we do have plays regardless of which land we draw, which is kind of nice, except for... I guess except for the man lands. Uh, all right, I'm going to concede. Let's jump into a game four. That was really sad. <laughs> all right, guys, I did do a quick double check in between games. Uh, and yes, we do have 24 lands in the deck, uh, which I do think is enough. I, I'm not stressing too much about that. We're keeping this on the double pack leader uh, plus Blizzard Brawl play. We'll see if it works. I got no idea. Uh, interesting. Nah, we'll just play the pack leader. It's a much stronger card, so obviously we want to get this down. Um, and we can Blizzard Brawl next turn and get rid of something, plus play the uh, Ascendant Pack Leader if we'd like. Um, 
Wow, they're attacking in. <laughs> I'm gonna block. I, they're playing mind games. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, sure, that's fine. That was just kind of like a a weird douchey move, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna blizzard brawl and get this off the field. <laughs> Hopefully, if they've got another pump spell, then that sucks, but... That was kind of a, a silly play on their end. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, let's attack in. It's gonna draw us a card. Ooh, fantastic. All right, let's play you and let's play you. Pretty straightforward. Now we do need the double red at some point here, so that is gonna be relevant. We did kind of pass up that opportunity just to play this, but I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, let's see what they've got. They're gonna attack. I'm gonna take it, because we're about to draw a lot more than that. Um, sure. You got a thing. Good for you. Um, comes tonight, transform any number of, uh, submit zero, I guess, because doesn't matter. Um, the Piper is very good. All right, first things first, we're attacking with everything. This is gonna draw us a good bit, um, which hopefully, fills up our hand enough that we can just play something really good. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Um, I really wish we had already had this, but yeah, let's play this down. That's just really good. <laughs> um, all right, so I don't think there's a lot that the uh, the opponent can do here. Um, and you can see just, okay, sure. Yeah, you can fight that off, I suppose. But now they're still facing down lethal. Um, Oh, you saint you. Um, let's play you for red. All right, let's do this. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, all right, let's attack it. Uh, the caretaker is stupid good. Um, you can see what we we can do when we have the mana. Like. That's ridiculous. All right, let's do one more game, guys. Let's see if we can get another win with this. These games are going very quickly, uh, so we'll see what we can do. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, this will probably be our final game, uh, but this is a relatively easy keep. Uh, we would like a couple more lands. A lot of our, our hand is late game stuff, but we do have the Naturalist here as well. I'm just going to throw this out first. We can then follow that up with the Mountain and get the Naturalist down, and then from there on, we're, we're in okay shape, hopefully. Uh, we've got four lands now, so feeling relatively safe about our position. Now, this is interesting because obviously they, this is going to be a pretty big ramp deck, uh, so we do have to be a bit afraid of what they're ramping into here, but we'll see. Uh, so next turn, depending on what happens, we can obviously try and attack in with the Naturalist and get a fourth mana, uh, which would allow us, <coughs> excuse me, to either play the pack, uh, or excuse me, Arlen, or the Halpak Piper. Uh, now, it looks like that's not going to be the case with the Mammoth. Um, but they don't really have a good attack either, so that's a positive at least. Um, Alright, uh, unfortunately this doesn't really hit anything at this point. Um, but I actually still think it's the play. <clears throat> the only reason I say this is if they just happen not to have a land, um, this Mammoth then can't really attack. Uh, now that's ambitious, I understand, but uh, that might be an option. Um, now they can start pumping this guy up as well, the Swarm Shambler, which they certainly are going to do, uh, which is great. So we'll see what happens. Okay, they did have a land here, but they are out of gas now. Uh, not that, <laughs> I mean, they're out of gas in the sense that they have nothing left to play, but obviously this is big, so. All right, you got it. We could have double blocked there. I don't know if that was the right play or not, or if that would have been the correct play. All right. Uh, so we've got some options. Uh, I do kind of like the Arlen play. Alternatively, we can play the Piper, and that kind of opens us up to playing two things next turn, which I think is a better play. Uh, this is just a super, super good card. Um, all right. We'll see what happens. A uh, little worried about this next turn, because obviously there's a lot of potential damage coming through. There's the Ranger class. They could level it up once, uh, so they can get a counter on something. 
Sure. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna double block here. So they're obviously gonna be able to pick one of these to kill, which isn't great for us, but uh, I think we... Us getting rid of that mammoth is, I think, a very relevant play. Um, all right, cool. So let's throw this out for green. Let's activate you. Uh, that's going to allow us to obviously throw something out here. We're going to pick you. Uh, we're kind of doing this in an odd way because we don't actually have to do this, but I think that's fine. Uh, we'll throw you down. All right. Um, I'm going to attack with this. Uh, we deal one damage here and one damage here. Uh, so we're just getting this little 1-1 one -one off the, the field here. That's not super relevant, obviously, but it is... I mean, it's some damage in the right direction, so I'm going to take it. Um, all right, cool. Uh, what do we take here? I guess it's this. I don't really know. Um, but now we've got a flipped board, obviously, so we've got a much stronger... Uh, board presence at this point. Now, they still get to throw a counter around here, which isn't great for us, but... <clears throat> uh, yep. I'm gonna take the block here. I don't love it, but we do have to keep ourselves in this game, uh, and I think that that might just be the best way to do it. Uh, we do get the Naturalist down, which is a Lord, uh, so super helpful there. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, and we can start shooting stuff here as well, which is quite nice. So I'm going to attack with these two. Uh, this is going to deal two damage. I think I think we'll just deal it here. Um, and then obviously we get to draw a card as well. Unfortunately, just a land. Now we're getting all the lands. Uh, can't complain, though, truthfully. I'm kind of OK with it. Um, Uh, let's do that just for fun let's push through some more damage just to make this lethal alright oh very nice okay uh, hmm I guess we get rid of this first I don't think it matters but yeah okay cool uh, yeah you got it also, we don't want to double up and play two spells per turn because that we don't want to flip over to the day bounds. Um, is that how I? Yeah, that's what we don't want to do. OK. <laughs> I was going to say, please attack. Uh, that sounds great. Let's drop Arlen. Uh, let's do this. And let's attack. Cool. Uh, we can add green, doesn't matter. Yes, look at that. All right, let's chat about werewolves, guys. Okay, so overall, uh, that went fairly well. Obviously, we had a little bit of mana issue uh, in the first few games there. I don't think we could have... Uh, we have 24 lands in the deck. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think that's enough for this deck? I think personally it is. When you've got the Naturalist who can help ramp you <clears throat> and you also max out at like 5 and 6 and even in those positions, we really don't have a ton. Uh, I feel like 24 lands isn't unreasonable. Uh, so that's just my view. Um, but regardless... I mean, it spoke for itself. It was a really fun deck, and you can see how much damage output it has, especially when you hit those lands, uh, and how much stuff you can do. I mean, even just playing with that pack leader, being able to, to bolster its power a little bit more, I mean, that's a lethal threat very, very quickly, and in that case, that, that required them to block, uh, which is pretty awesome. So overall, I love this. I think this deck is really, really sick. I think it definitely got a little bit of a boost uh, with with Crimson Val, uh, and I'm excited to see where it goes. Again, I don't think this is the final list. I don't think this is the final teched out version. Um, this is just a starting point that I was playing around with. Uh, feel free, of course, to, to please uh, give some recommendations in the comment section uh, for anybody who happens to find this and wants to build their own. Uh, but the deck list is in the description if you are interested but guys thank you so much for watching i love you all have a fantastic day we should have some more gameplay coming up very soon for you uh and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys later